Welcome to the Fields of Code tutorial series and to this tutorial collecting information about specialists and emergency contacts. When gathering medical information from new patients at the initial interview, you probably asked these questions many times before. Who is the specialist treating you for this condition? Who is your emergency contact? This tutorial demonstrates where to log such information most efficiently for your new patients. Start by opening the patient document you need to update. The type of information discussed here can be found on the emergency page. Let's start with the contact person in case of an emergency. This can be one of the patient's relatives or a friend. If the contact person is logged in the database, you could select that document now. However, when that person is not present in the database, perhaps because this individual is not a patient at the current clinic, you can represent him or her by a document in the contacts list. So let's create a new contact document to represent a Miss Amanda Smith, your patient's neighbor, for instance. Select the contacts gateway. Press on the new tab. Type the first name and the last name. The system opens the newly created document automatically. All contact information about this person should be logged here. Make sure you save the document. Use the Windows menu to return to your patient. Press the Select Emergency Person from the database. Check the Contacts radio box to see only items of the contacts list. Select the name and press OK. The system populates the emergency person area with the name and home phone number as it was extracted from the selected contact. You can override the home phone number with a cell or other applicable phone number. Open the Relationship to Patient drop-down list. I see that the term neighbor is missing, so I will add it now by pressing the plus button on the right. This takes me to the Lookups view, and what I see here is the Relationships Dictionary. Press Add, type the new term, and save the page. Use the Windows menu again to return to the patient. I can now select Neighbor from the list. If you need to access the contact document linked here, you can use the Open This Document shortcut on the right. You can also opt to skip logging the contact person into the database, and instead, you can simply type the name and phone number directly into the provided fields. Let's move on to the treating specialists and other physicians. I will assume that two doctors were logged and already appear in the contacts list. To log the first, I will press the Insert New Healthcare Provider in the List button on the toolbar. Press the Select Healthcare Provider from this database button. Click the contacts radio box and select the doctor's name from the list. In my case, that is Dr. Dana Anderson. Press the OK button. Notice that the work phone shows automatically. It is copied from the selected document. Select the term allergists in the role field. Press OK. The specialist is added to the list into the other healthcare providers region. Select the name in the list and press the Open a Selected Person button on the toolbar. This opens the contact document referred to here and allows you to verify that indeed the correct work phone number was used for this person. And so it is. I can now return to the patient document. Repeat these steps for the second specialist. Dr. Joe Smith, who is the patient's endocrinologist. I could go on and add more entries if necessary, but this is it for my patient. I also wanted to demonstrate how to remove a physician from the list. Select one of the names 
and press the Remove a Selected Healthcare Provider from the toolbar. You will have to confirm the request and the name gets removed from the list. Always remember to save your changes. The information recorded on the emergency page is fully integrated with reporting if you ever need to print these details. This concludes the Collecting Medical Information tutorial. I hope you found this information valuable. Thank you for watching.